With leaving Geelong, the shipping channel provides an easy path through the sand banks off Point Henry. With a 20 to 25 knot wind from astern, I sailed with the head sail only for a comfortable four and a half knot downwind run to Port Arlington for the night. With the breakwater at Port Arlington now complete, entry is from the east. Once inside, care is needed when anchoring to leave sufficient room for the ferry to manoeuvre into its dock as it comes and goes. The sail from Port Arlington to Mud Islands takes between two and three hours on a good day. I approached the islands from the north, staying in the deeper water to the east until due east of the southern end of the islands before turning across the shallow water and in towards the shore. I pick up one of the moorings just off the beach on the southeast corner of the islands in around half a metre of water. During September and October, the islands are alive with a multitude of nesting birds, a spectacle not to be missed. Currently there is only one entrance to the lagoon at the northern end of the islands, making Mud Islands a single island at the moment.
The trip back to Geelong takes six to seven hours on a good day. St Helens Boat Ramp is a great facility with ample space to tie up, two good ramps and security for your car and trailer when parking next to the Coast Guard office. <music> 